That was taken on a ring footage video camera from one of our viewers. You could hear what happened last night during one of those earthquakes. And you may have felt them. The USGS reports as many as eight earthquakes since last night. Those quakes originating near Danforth and Midwest Boulevard in Edmond. The first around 937 last night and the latest around 536 this morning. The earthquakes are ranging from 2.5 to 3.3 all the way up to two 4.2 4.4 earthquakes again there have been two 4.4 earthquakes in the last 24 hours on the phone this morning to discuss their findings trey davis with the oklahoma corporation commission trey good morning good morning to you trey can you tell me what your team does when an earthquake happens in oklahoma Certainly. We have an induced seismicity department at the corporation that was created a number of years ago when uh, there was a large amount of earthquakes occurring between 2014 and 2016. And so what they've done is um, we study these, we do research on those to help uh, create protocols that go into effect when felt quakes of 2.0 or greater typically um, occur. And uh, the first thing we do is to check and see if there is any oil and gas activity in the area of the quake, uh, and then determine if it's possible that it might be linked uh, to that. You may recall eight years or so ago, there were a number of quakes uh, in the Edmond area, and it was believed that uh, water injection wells, wastewater disposal wells were um, linked uh, to the cause of those quakes, and we shut those down. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell you that with the quakes that occurred last night and earlier this morning, there is no oil and gas activity um, that we are aware of occurring uh, in the Edmond area and around the epicenter of the quakes. All right, it doesn't so mean that those faults... Keep going. I'm so sorry. Keep going. Yeah, I was just going to say, doesn't mean that those faults uh, are not still active. And that's something uh, that we hope the Oklahoma Geological Survey and its research um, can help to determine, you know, just how active those faults in that area may be because they do rumble from time to time. But there doesn't appear to be, and we are not aware of any oil and gas activity that could be linked to what occurred last night and this morning. So there's really nothing to do with man-made, man-issued earthquakes right now, correct? Correct. Thank you. And again, of if course, if we if we find that you know something else occurred, we are on top of it. But yes. at this point, there's just no activity in the near the epicenter. All right. I just want to make sure our viewers understand so there's no oil or gas issues right now. So your team was kind of done with the investigation, and it goes to other people here in the state, correct? <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a dual role. We partner with the Oklahoma Geological Survey. Um, they were of great help to us uh, back in uh, 2015, 2016. And we've learned a lot about quakes and the impact that um, can occur uh, from fracking or wastewater injection wells. That's not the cause for what's going on right now. But again, those faults do remain active and, and uh, they do occasionally trigger um, just because they're active and they're shifting. Mm -hmm. Trey Davis with the Oklahoma Corporation Commission sharing exactly what his team is finding this morning. Trey, thank you for waking up with us and sharing some more information. Absolutely. Have a great day. Thank you.